We are going to attempt to make some necklaces out of this kit we bought. It comes with these little things. We will link this kit down in the description if you're interested with this casting resin, casting and coating. This will be linked in the description as well. So we're going to try two different methods. We're going to pour clear ones in a couple of these and use alcohol inks in a few of them too. And to finish them we have some waxed cotton necklaces. And these will also be linked in the description. This resin is one to one. One part hardener, one part resin. Then thoroughly mix for three to five minutes. It can be demolded after 24 hours, so we gotta let this sit for 24 hours and see how we did. All right, our resin is cured. We're gonna pop some out. Let's start with this big one. That one's really cool. 
It's just too bad. The only heart holder we have is way smaller than this. Same with this one. We don't have a holder for this one. That one's okay. Now I see a problem already with the clear ones. They're full of bubbles. I don't know if they would work to put skins underneath because you can barely see through them. I'll try it and see what happens. And it's just a little black. A little black teardrop. So it needs cleaned up a little bit, but it's just a tiny little gold bubble of resin. That one's kind of cool. We've got one of these for that one. This one just turned, looks like black. Won't focus. Just a black heart. And we have one of those for that one. This one looks like it needs cleaned up a little bit. That one's cool. We got that for that one. And the last one we have. That one turned out pretty cool, too. And we have one for that one. Alright, to attach these resin pendants to the tray, we're just going to use some of this. Part doesn't quite fit in there. OK. 
kind of cool. Right, here's a pearlescent paint skin. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, you can't even see it. can't see through that so there's no point even using these unless someone just wants a clear orb necklace which actually doesn't look terrible kind of cool I might actually glue that one on okay to finish these off we just need to find some necklaces for these. And Jeanette and I went through and picked out the ones that we think match the best. We have a whole bunch of earthy colored ones and a whole bunch of bright colored ones. Those will be linked in the description if you want to buy some of these. They're waxed cotton. For some of them, like this one, the uh, connector here, this loop, sideways so it'll hang like this on your body we don't want that so we bought some jump rings in different colors white silver and gold and we're gonna see which ones look the best on this I think gold would look good on that one There it is. One necklace done. Oh, this one doesn't need need a jump ring because it's already set up. This one we'll do a gold again probably. And just bend them by hand. And the last one. All right, we got five necklaces done. I will put a link in the description for the resin mold kit that we used. I won't put a description, a link in the description for these because we bought those at Walmart. You know you can buy them off Amazon, but I don't know about the quality, so I'm not going to direct you to any of them. These are pretty decent. They're waxed cotton necklaces. I will put a link in the description for those. And the resin that we used. This one might be my favorite because it's got a really cool color, bluish teal with gold in it. But these ones are always cool because of the shape of them. And they look, because of the shape of them, they look vintage-y to me. All right. That's how to make some resin pendant necklaces. Oh, and I will put a link in the description for the uh, alcohol inks, if I didn't already say that. But resin alcohol ink 
pendant necklaces. Thanks for watching.